get the planning and you will get the planning and to um, provide the drawings and design for what we're going to build then you will going to submit for the land approval and once you get the approval by the government local councils development councils and then you will going to do the constructions and working with builders and then you will going to uh, hand over the or sell the property or the build to rent uh, arrangements uh, or management of properties so this is a whole development process um, apart from the construction detailed constructions right all these process right the knowledge and skills required for the development process will be included so in this programs and uh, you will learn and uh, the specialized knowledge in the what is the property development process and whether this uh, development is feasible so you will learn the feasibilities and modeling skills and you will know that the environmental requirements for building this uh, for the total development which is say what you can build how high will be you know the building you can build and are you going to build in the industrial or uh, commercial or residential what are the environmental requirements the floor spatial ratios and, and so on and you will also learn the valuations and methodology so once when, when you do in the development you will like to know what is the land value did you pay in too much right and then after you building on these buildings you like to know what are the value of this building or what are the value of their properties and most importantly for the developer as a major role is looking for the finance so none of us can just take out all the cash to build in whole commercial building industrial buildings right we need to know where to get the money where to get the funds are they go through equity or are they go through the debts so what are the risks involved with the whole development process and what are the risks of the market so uh, whether they will impact on your um, the developments cash flows and what are the risks for the finance right all this is this knowledge right will be part of the contents in um, and distribute in different uh, subjects so during the study you will also have some um, knowledge in the property development cycles and then you will also understand the, um, the in different stakeholders positions uh, who are involved with the property development process so benefit of taking these subjects right and mainly you got three uh, a perspective right one is you know you will understand the knowledge involved in this program which is the whole development pro process and secondly right you will through the learning you will understand the um, or get access to, to the projects which is uh, in the uh, industry practice so we so many subjects right and we have uh, the using the projects to uh, real life projects for students assignments for example like a property development finance we're using the uh, borrows uh, pro, um, prospects queries at the uh, grand storms um, industrial project residential project for students assignments so students know some insights and then the real life project for your uh, work so you understand how the theoretical knowledge they can apply into the real life projects and then you can also building up some networks so half of the um, subjects where will be teach by the part-time lectures so you can have a connection with the part-time lectures who are also practice in the real real industries and you can also make the connection with the students who 
in a classroom with you and you know who are the valuers and engineers town planners architectures and all in the different industries so you can building on the connections as a developer you are actually your major role is going to working on different stakeholders you need to know who are the valuers Right, you need to ask them to value the land, value the properties you build, and you need to know the uh, the builders, right? And then in the construction, so therefore, and subcontractors, you know, because you are actually you need to find out who can actually build for you. You need to working on the uh, with the planner, and who will going to show you how to. Uh, what kind of building to be built and then you know some kind of joints so you need to work in with the architecture architects and and so on so they are the people you will like to know them and after you have done this course right what you can do so you basically right developer is the one you actually you can uh, work in the other area as well because the knowledge you can expand the knowledge to in different area as well right like the uh, advisors and assistant developers and valuers and and uh, planners and market analysis uh, we have also got the double degree say master property development and planning mass development and project management, mass development and the investments. So that will allow you to go into different uh, disciplines after you do the studies. Now we took looking in the all the details about this course. This course, right, um, we got the property uh, development uh, graduate certificate. We got the diploma in the uh, property development and then we got the masters for the master degree right we got the two parts one is you can just go to directly for the master development therefore you have a four electives you can select any subjects you're interested in so if you wanted to be a master of property development development have a valuation sub major so that four elective subjects you will select you will be uh, dedicated for the required variation subjects that will allow you to have uh, academically uh, qualified as a CPV once you finish your master of property development course so um, there is some kind of difference I will uh, explain to you later on and you can also uh, extend the course to the double degrees like planning, investment, and project management, right? So that is uh, uh, not the options you can do. So basically, one and a half years full time, if you extend it to the double degree, that means they give you uh, two years or a little bit more to, the, uh, to get the uh, double degrees. So some details in here. Uh, if you are doing the uh, graduate certificates in property development, you are required to do these four core subjects, validation methodology, plan, uh, development process, property transaction, and then feasibility and modeling. That require the half year full time, or you can do in the one year and part time. We suppose two uh, subjects per semester. And if you are doing the um, graduate diploma and you are required to do the graduate certificate for core subjects plus additional two core subjects, which is planning environmental law and uh, property development finance, and then two elective subjects, total of eight subjects. So there's a four in here, two in the core subjects, plus two elective subjects. So if you are doing the normal master property development course, so you, that two elective subjects can select anywhere, uh, any other postgraduate level subjects. But if you are doing the valuation sub-major, 
you have to be careful these two elective subjects you must select the uh, valuation subjects that will allow you to complete the subjects when you finish the master degree uh, in the minimum time which is one and a half years so for the master degree uh, master property development that is that four subjects from the graduate certificate plus these two from the graduate diploma and plus another two core subjects from the master course and plus the two four electives total 12 subjects but if you can see that right that's matter you are enrolling graduate certificate or diploma they will help you to achieve the master degree later on as long as you complete all the core subjects here and they will have a four electives for you to select that is either from other postgraduate level subjects or the valuation subjects here okay so this is about the uh, course structures and our course is um, is accredited um, by the um, you know the um, IICS and API and then so that also the subjects you're doing in the graduate certificate will be also automatically accredited uh, um, if you are move on to the diploma or the um, master development course through the internal course transfer not the new applied degree but the internal course transfer for example you are enrolling in graduate certificate then by the end of the um, uh, semester and then you can apply the internal course transfer to the graduate diploma or the master course then um, all the subjects you study from the graduate certificate that will automatically transfer to your uh, new course which is the graduate diploma or the master degrees so that is the credit uh, subjects to the new course and the course structure where I really uh, talk about and previously and total of eight core subjects for the master of property development and four electives subjects so total takes you about one and a half year full time so if you're doing the part time it's double the time okay so that takes you two to three years to complete the uh, full course uh, using the part time so uh, we expect full-time students four subject for uh, each semester or we got the three semesters one half years if you can uh, do it probably because some of the subject offer in June or July you might be able to take up two subjects and some subject in summer so you might be take off and uh, taking more subjects during the summer and uh, June and July they will shorten your study period so our master property development course and graduate certificate a uh, graduate diploma in property development course are uh, accredited by the RCS and API and public councils so this is the details for the valuation submages um, if you're doing the master of property development course you are pursuing the CPV which is a certified practicing valuer and you are required to complete these four subjects and plus the master property development core subjects so for the valuation methodology and development feasibility modeling these two subjects have already been included in the core subjects so for these two land acquisition structural valuation litigations and investment property valuation these two subjects you must do it in you know select for your electives otherwise right you will be not be able to qualify as a valuation summages 
So for our course, right, and for the master of property development course, so uh, we will be qualified for CPP, certified property practitioner, CPV, if you fulfill these requirements, and then CDP, and then the uh, RPV. So if you can see all here, so that indicates that mass property development course, we uh, you are qualified for this full if you do in the CPV subjects, or the, if you do in the graduate diploma, we are qualified for CDP and CPP. So the details you can through these links, right, and from the API links. And there are the elective subjects you can select if you are not dedicated to uh, CPV, some major, right? So, uh, you know, they have uh, management and construction electives, planning electives, project management electives, or some kind of finance elective as well, and investment subjects as well. So there are a range of subjects. So global property trend is for you to, if you want to go to the overseas, right? Next, we start maybe next year, uh, see if um, if COVID not restricted. So uh, that's for the overseas, overseas travel. And the subject delivery, the subject delivery, right? And we have um, lectures, we got the, tutorial, we got the computer labs, and we also have um, the workshops, you know, really depends on the subject, they are not units, right? So uh, each subject have a different uh, delivery modes and deliver arrangements. Basically, it's a, uh, uh, we are, you know, mainly focus on problem-based learning and situations. Like the computer lab, like you're doing the feasibility and modeling, you will be working on computer. Or the you're doing the property development finance, you will be working on the computer. We will show you step by step how you're doing the modeling. Um, that modeling means that, so if you're using the software, right, and like state masters, you maybe input some of the numbers and they will show you some results. However, what is something behind these softwares that it, you through learning the modeling, you will understand what are the theory, how the software works right behind that. That will, show, um, that will help you to understand um, the feasibilities and then the, um, you know, how you're going to look at the change of variable that will impact on the decisions. So this course, is uh, designed for the full-time um, job students. Therefore, we mainly uh, organize for the broad mode. The broad mode uh, we're talking about is on normally two or maximum three blocks. That block indicates that we usually uh, deliver in Thursday evening, Friday whole day, and Saturday whole day. So for each of the subject, you will have a two blocks, maybe two uh, Thursday evening, two Friday, and two Saturday to complete the face-to-face uh, -face or uh, the delivery. And you will, and other time is uh, students' uh, group works or you're doing self-readings or doing some uh, assignments. So some of the section will be online, like lecture, that can be say just putting online and recorded or delivery, right? And others, right? Like the workshops and projects and computer labs, they will be face to face, right? Really depends on uh, on the subject matters, right? Different subject have a different arrangements. Um, for the property developments, right? And the salary range, if you have a job. Um, from you know that is from the uh, this link and 12th October 2022 and this shows the 70,000 to 130,000 this is about the range and average is come from the 90 to 111,000 this is a salary range from that if you are the valuer for the 
some students maybe come from overseas you want to apply for migrations so that value as code is 224512 and that is the class you know the category you can apply for the um, for the migrations so that is one of the salary informations and uh, for details uh, applications uh, how you can qualify or eligible for the uh, entrance for the master degree basically if you have a UTS recognized bachelor degree in the following disciplines for example architecture buildings engineering management commerce or business law economics and econometrics so you should be eligible to do the master degree course or if you have a complete the graduate diploma in property development with a credit above average, so you can do in the internal course transfer to the master degree, or you can uh, do it like the graduate diploma in construction pro um, construction management course. You can also get the um, uh, get into the master degree course master course for the graduate uh, diploma and you you will be required to present the bachelor of degree or equivalent uh, which is uts recognized uh, graduate certificates great uh, credit average above marks and then the graduate certificate public development is the same you can do the graduate uh, internal transfer to the diploma course if you have done the graduate certificate in planning, you can also come into this pro this course because some of the subjects is shared between the pro uh, between the uh, planning and the de developments. And if you got the graduate certificate in construction project management and uh, project management, you can also come into the graduate diploma course. For the graduate certificate, this subject is the course is designed for the for the students who have not actually in this um, um, property industry. Perhaps you are in the business or you are in the other industry engineering. So you you are going to the graduate certificate first to understand the course. So. Um, so therefore, you are required to submit the CV and then as well as you are required to submit the statement to justify why you need to study the graduate certificate in property development course this will be assessed individually um, case by case uh, some students ask about the fees previously so in UTS that is called if you go into the Google you just type UTS fees then you will be able to get to this page so and then you you will type in, in the post select the postgraduate domestic students or overseas students year of studies cohort DAB and then uh, and then the course code then you will be able to find out uh, the fees the fees in 2023 that should be the uh, 695 per credit points you are required to uh, for the master degree you are required the total 72 credit points but per semester right sixteen thousand six hundred seventy five dollars right that's about the fees um for this is the um Wet links if you want to find out more information about the uh, postgraduate course in, in the property development, you're just going to using this link. Okay. Um, if you have a further information you want to ask, you can um, you know send me an email or you can go to our marketing mar uh, marketing teams, they will refer you to me. Uh, you, you 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 can have a one on one check, which is uh, normally on Friday, uh, Wednesday afternoon, uh, four to five, 
you know, 4, 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. So I can ask you questions. So I'm looking after the Master of Property Development and Master of Real Estate Investment course. So you can always contact me and if you uh, want to ask more questions. Okay, this is the end of my uh, presentation and then I will look at the, any Q&A Q &A questions. So, uh, Arena, should I stop sharing or the, go directly to the Q&A questions? Yes, please just stop sharing and check the Q&A box because we have a few questions there. Thank I you. see, okay. Okay, let's see. How many formal or informal hours estimate from, okay, per semester? So the first question is that how many formal and informal hours estimate approximately per semester, per subject? So for every subject, right, and face-to-face -face contacts, uh, contacts usually about 32 to 38 hours, right, which is the formal hours, right, 32 to 38 hours. And then the informal hours, which is the, you are working with uh, students uh, for the uh, assignments and you have a group meetings or you are you are required to do the um, you know the prior learning so before the class you might have a readings and chapter readings that will depends on your um, you know the the time you know how fast you read in the chapters and so you might request to do some uh, mark research for your assignments that also depends on how much time you involve. But the, for the formal hours, it's, it's 32 to 38 hours. So I hope you have answered your questions. And what is the total cost for the graduate certificate, graduate diploma, master's? So I have actually already shown you the costing. So for each subject, we got the six credit, six credit points. So for each credit point, it's 695 for 2023. So you're just using the 695 times um, six credit points, which is per subject. For graduate certificate, which is the four subjects, so it's uh, four times six, it's 24 credit points. So you're using 10, 24 credit points to times 695 uh, dollars that will give you the great certificate and for the graduate diploma you're using the 48 credit points times the um, uh, the 695 for the master you 72 credit points times the 695 okay so I hope that answer your questions uh, what is the intern requirements for graduate certificates so graduate certificates right and then you uh, uh, we are expect we are designed for the students who are not uh, do not maybe they do not have a bachelor degree or who maybe they got the uh, five years working experience in the same industry probably industry and maybe they are in the business so the entry requirement is assessed by by based um, case by case so you need to give a CV and then the also the justifications for why you need to do this course but if you are working in the property industry with the working uh, five years working experience in the property related industry therefore you have a great chance to get into the program but if you work in the business right you all in all the economics related or planning and uh, project management and the uh, constructions engineering so therefore you also will have a chance to get into the graduate certificate course um, but if you are say you are nurse you want to come into this course right you really need to justify why you need to come into this course okay um any other questions let's look at that Okay, we got overseas students from Nigeria. I have a higher national diploma 
in the real estate management and chapter social members and Nigerian institutions and value huh? so yes so um if you have a um, diploma in the real estate management but this one should be the uh, UTS recognized the diploma course so you can go in to do the master course and you can add the master directly to master pro yeah you can apply for the master of property development course but the, this diploma must be a UTS recognized degree okay so whether UTS recognized degree so and uh, this can be assessed by when you apply to the master course so our student center uh, recruitment team they will assess your qualification and otherwise ask whether this your diploma is recognized by the UTS so you can apply uh, please send the record this webinar sends okay that marketing may be following up your your these questions so any other questions um, that I can answer Any more questions? So uh, it seems that I have uh, um, in my presentation have addressed all your questions already. So if you have further questions, please do contact our marketing team, and they should maybe provide you a link to contact, or you can. Uh, May appointment to have a one on one chat on Wednesday, and or you can send me email to ask further questions. Okay, thank you very much for your time to attending this uh, information. And is any more questions now? Uh, okay, good info. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome to join this uh, evening section. And looking forward to your applications. Thank you very much.